What is up, crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers? Yeah. I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and that is a freaking monster truck running over a bunch of slayers, dude, from shorty to extra, extra long, or extra long plus, whatever it's called, dude. Freaking A. Yeah. Man, I hope y'all are having a great freaking weekend. Yeah, we got a mother battle for you today. Freaking Viper Long versus hard park dementor dude we're not even running a boa i don't even think that would be fair dude we don't need all that crap we're just gonna run it everything in the cab versus dementor what you got bro hard park in the house he on super eights dude tricked out we got a nice fancy rig shiny parts look at him go dude wow if you look around this seems to be everybody's choice of uh, performance vehicle it seems to be what people are deeming to be the most capable uh, on again extremely expensive axles I got stock housings I got BBs in my wheels the only brass that I have on the vehicle is in the hubs that's it dude we're just running in Jura parts nothing fancy dude you let me know who you think which no, which rig is better which rig uh, works uh, better I think they both work pretty good uh, some of it was just a traction issue. Those pins are not I mean, working very well. Uh, you know, they work okay. Uh, they, the scramblers destroyed them. The scramblers are one of the best set of tires that I have run. If not the best, I have not run the new, uh, ruptures and things like that. Uh, but, uh, I can't imagine they'd be better. If anything, there's times where my rear end has too much grip. It's more grip than I want. I have never felt like my tires did not have the grip that they needed to have. They're amazing. Freaking great combo. I'm also, I'm running flubs in the front, foams in the back. So with the pins, he's doing okay, definitely. But you can see there's times where he does, they do kind of like slip. Uh, this is, a for the most part, very high grip surface anyways, uh, especially anytime you see that we're on concrete. So right here, I'm turning down. It's just stupid. I was just trying to hold it tight. There's just, I mean, it's, it, I flip doing that every single time. I still try to do it. Need to be even higher and tighter than that. So Craig took a different way. He wasn't going to make it, so he wheeled across there, freaking stayed on the wheels. Great job, bro. Sweet maneuver, a little trigger time. Hell yeah. All right, so both rigs killing it, dude. Not here to talk crap about hard park. Uh, dude, those guys are working hard, and uh, they put out a good product you know he's using high-end materials uh and these type of things and he's doing a good job so definitely shout out to what's his name matt or something i don't even know his name uh the dude at hard park dude great freaking job uh keep killing it so not here to talk crap bro maybe but at the same time dude you know like i got a rep of slayer dog and i don't have to like bring somebody down to uh, you know you know, lift myself up so that I need to make sure that I'm not doing that, you know, but at the same time, bro, I know what I drive. I know what I built. Uh, I know what I've seen other people do with their hard park rigs. Uh, I know what people have told me that have all the hard park stuff and have bought my rigs and told me uh, personally, you know what I'm saying? Like what their experience was. Uh, I know what that was, you know, so um, you know, when I, when I'm confident in my stuff and, and I know that my, my rig is better, uh, you know, it's for good reason, dude. I'm not just here. I'm not blind. Uh, I have fixed, uh, pretty much every single, not pretty much. I have fixed every single issue that I ever have had with the Slayer. Uh, it does not exist in the Viper any longer. Uh, I fixed my links. I fixed everything, dude. Um, super stoked on it. I don't look at it, I'm not like ashamed, you know, when I look at this hard park rig and see all this. Uh, I don't, I, I, you know, I, I do, I did feel like self-conscious for a long time, you know, seeing like the titanium and, you know, like like shiny and, and thin and all this kind of stuff, dude. I definitely felt self-conscious for a long time. Not anymore, bro. Like, uh, I know what I drive, bro. I know what it looks like. And if you don't like it, that's fine. If that means I go out of business, that's fine. But I know that uh, my shit's the best, bro. Like, no question asked. Uh, you know, like, I freaking did it, bro. Like, uh, so people that want to be mad at me or, you know, not, you know, want to hate on me for coming out with too many products or not trust me anymore, then, you know, that's fine. Go, go, go play somewhere else, dude. Like, this is what I'm doing. Uh, my stuff is not outdated. My new parts work with every Slayer that I ever made. Even if you have bought it Elite 
the links that would still work, bro. You know, like it doesn't, you know, like, <laughs> but it's no longer proprietary. It will work with others. You would have, to, although I may have to come out with a narrow three link for uh, running in a regular uh, width rig. You might have to widen it out or whatever. At this point, you could also modify the three link, just cut it down uh, by five millimeters on either side. Uh, or just run it kind of pinched in there, but so that's I guess I do need to fix that because so I'm not totally proprietary uh, But if you had a Slayer, it would work, bro. You just put the spacers on your transmission uh, And it would work. So here we're showing off freaking steering angle uh, That he does not have, you know, so he's got super fancy axles that cannot keep up with the stock housing Great freaking job, dude killing it Come on, bro Just no angle man. Not enough angle Spend all the money on fancy stuff and can't keep up. Golly! So, you know, dude, that's one thing. You know, that's great, dude. You got, that's the axles thing right here. There's only one axle that I would buy at this point, and that's X15. Other than that, dude, like, it's a stock housing. Like, okay, cool. You got 90 degrees on your axle. Well, it hits at 60. I got that. So, you know, like, <laughs> You have these massive tires. They're not going to clear, dude. They're going to hit your links, bro. I made special links so that doesn't happen. Uh, and it's still going to hit the body, bro, like, or the shocks or, you know, or you got to stand your shock straight up. So now you have no dropout. Great. Great job, bro. We've inboarded our shocks. So we have as much dropout as you want to have. You got as much flex as you want to have. Uh, and you can still run the front end, slam down. Uh, this is freaking rad, bro. Like, come on, and have hella, hella angle. So, I get that there's these other axles out there, you know, maybe they're rad, bro. Check for two FMRC, he's about to show them off, uh, and you can see what he has to say. Um, I'm sure they're great, bro. But for me, like, uh, being team mofo, bro, like, it not, not just because of that, I drive them, I, I need to bring them back out again. Uh, it just sucks they're on my freaking elite. Uh, that I spent, you know, I freaking love that rig, uh, but I can't show it off anymore because I'm not selling it. So I basically have to dismantle the rig uh, so I can use the X15s. Uh, I'll probably be putting them on, I don't know, we'll probably do XL. I, I, I don't know if we'll do that on a BOA. People are going to want it on a BOA, so it's going to end up as a double XL is what's going to happen. So I'll, I'll start it as an XL and we'll show off. Um, with uh, probably just his, we'll just run his uh, oh. saw, his his pieces that go on top of his axle. And uh, so we'll just run it that way. Dude, I wanted to do this, it's so savage. And again, I'm off camera. Crap! Ah. So, rip through your flip. <laughs> so here, when I can get around to it, I will redraw the pieces for the X15s. Uh, right now, all I need to start off with would just be the rear riser. Um, I still have the old one, but I just made the new one just look prettier. It prints way better, and so I will modify the X15 riser, down. and uh, we'll get that sucker going, dude. Because that's all we need to run the axles, uh, and then we'll need, that, you know, with the with without the boa, uh, and then we'll just need to do the boa, dude, and we'll freaking be rolling, uh, dog. Come on, guys. Sucker will be a baller. But again, we're going to be losing angle because he's only got 45 degrees of angle. Where I'm like at 60 degrees, bro. I don't know what it is. It's again, it's it. I have as much angle as I want to have. Uh, <laughs> it's just savage, dude. Um, it's just crazy, bro. If you have not done the freaking angle mod, bro, like I don't know what your problem is. It is the dopest thing ever to have freaking over 50 degrees of angle on an SCX24. It's just freaking rad. Game changer. But then you're gonna hit your tires on your links. You gotta have the friggin' crook links, dude. Yeah. Who's got crook links? Freaking Texoma RC, bruh. Let us go. Great job. So the first time, Craig, we were just trying to pull up to the left. We wanted to see if we could just pull up onto that ledge. Did not work out, so we had to balance up. And then make it look pretty coming through there. Great freaking job, Vipe. Vipe the hype, dog. So man, I had to retake this dude. I was talking a little bit of shit. I was freaking crying a little bit, you know, like freaking feelings are hurt at this point for sure. You know, freaking nobody watches. You know, obviously it was like, I watch, I'm still here. You know, so those are the same dudes in the comments every freaking time. There's like, you know, five to ten of you. Uh and uh, so you guys are always here. Certainly appreciate you dudes. Obviously, I'm not talking to you guys in the why I don't watch Texoma RC video comments or whatever like that, the community posts. 
uh, you know, it's just right now I've got, you know, 3,000 subs and only like 500 of them watch videos. Uh, and so, you know, I really need, that's really killing me because if you think about it, dude, your subs are the people who say they like your videos. And if they do not click on your videos, then the algorithm is not going to push your videos out to new people, right? Because uh, the people who already said they like your stuff are saying they do not like your stuff. It is not interesting uh -uh. when they scroll past. So that's why I have asked people who are not interested to please unsubscribe, you know, because it just, it just absolutely kills me in the algorithm. So somebody out there said that I was being an algorithm expert uh, and I never yeah, claimed you to. Some, you uh, I really didn't right appreciate that. that you know, like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to take care of my family, bro. Like, anything. uh, you know, and, uh, when most of the people who said that they were liked my stuff no longer are a fan, uh, you know, that really, you know, hurts a small channel. Um, and so I mean, I am even debating on starting a new channel, uh, because of that reason, you know, cause it feels like I can't go anywhere because the people who said that they did like me no longer like, like me. Um, and so and pretty much sucks, dude. Um, uh, people move on, I guess. Uh, you know, I guess I didn't, <laughs> maybe it's time. I don't know. Sure. Seems like it on this end, dude. So I appreciate the, the, the few dudes that are supporting me. Uh, it is uh, It does mean a lot to me. People on Patreon, dudes on Patreon means a freaking lot, bro. Uh, you know, uh, just thanks for being here. And why I got a couple minutes here, dude, I just want to say I, I'm really sorry for holding everybody up again. You know, like I know that I'm, I'm getting caught up and, and I, I put orders out this week, uh, but I've just been putting so much extra plastic in some of these guys that waited too long. And uh, just, you know, so I just... Man, I, I apologize, bro. It means a lot to me to get caught up uh, just really, really struggling uh, the last few days here. So uh, also my back has just been absolutely killing me and just, just making it so hard to do anything. Uh, you know, just, you know, I don't know, just kills me, bro. Uh, just my motivation and, and whatever. And just find myself, you know, not, not on task. Come down. Oh, crap, come on, buddy. But I got out of that <sighs> so I apologize, dude. I'm doing my freaking best and, and I'm trying, dude. And, and I, I thank you guys for bearing with me. Uh, and uh, I will be getting uh, caught up and whatever. I'm not too many days behind anymore, dude. Literally, I went over like 30 days on some orders. And uh, so we're only down into like less than, less than teens. So, um, you know, I think on most everything. So doing pretty good, getting caught up. Again, I super duper apologize. Uh, and uh, we will be getting uh, moving much better uh, here after Christmas. So now that everybody is doing the same thing, I don't have like uh, special orders. That was the other thing. I had yeah, special orders going on and whatever. Also had a couple of rigs that had to be built. Um, and so uh, I had to deal with those things. So anyways, I do appreciate you guys, man. And I uh, definitely do not want to uh, keep your, your money on hostage. Uh, any longer than has to be uh, and so anyways thanks dudes so Ray, Frank, Craig freaking right. killed it on that one a little bit of flippage and dude he's like I'm not done dude. he ripped him ripped it, you flip and he's on wheels and he came back killing it dude hell yeah hell yeah I just don't think uh, we're gonna kill it across there come on buddy oh, sorry can you do it <laughs> mm, come on like, no you can't go back you looking scared go forward or else you looking scared Dude, the farther he goes, the worse he gets. He's just gonna step off into that hole. Yep. Yup. If you hit it just right, it's much easier to hit oh, this and go across right and here. up from the bottom side. Uh, so turning down here, dude, even this right here is hell of hard. I flipped on it so many times driving a gladiator and whatever. Shorties definitely don't like that little spot. But we can kill it in a Viper, bro. We can kill it in a Viper. We go up, we go down, we go sideways. Anything you want to freaking do. And we're going to clear it at the top. Still, every time, bro. Baller. Baller. Let's go. Come on, Dementor. Where you at, bud? Where you at? Oh, come on. Dude. Got to give it the beans. Go up the easy way. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's hard park. It's the best. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. <coughs> All right, bro, we're going to come out in here and try a couple of maneuvers that are just What's absolutely impossible. 
but they seem fun and when you're driving you know you got to push the freaking line here let's go craig so this first ledge here i have never quite attempted this i want to push up to the left of the point and it it looks doable let's see what how did i fail i can't remember here So we're in position. Ah, oh shoot! That's hard. I didn't pull hard enough early enough, and my Long I just just bit crazy. in the back end and the, the rear end so one. So I should have repositioned and just done that again. I should have had that easy, bro. I was just I let my what you have to do is That'd to so get dope, your dude. elbow in position before your wheels go into bite okay. mode, your rear wheels, and so just like that right yeah, there, he so didn't have an elbow. Wheels went into bite mode, and there you go. Too late. I, w I had an elbow. It just wasn't enough grip, and I didn't lift myself out. I thought I was clear, and when I pulled trigger, the wheels bit and flipped off. So I missed uh, off camera on uh, my attempt on this one. This was my choice of going up. Again, I've never made this with a long or gladiator. Uh, I have made this with the CR18P, but that had the 10 millimeter longer transmission skid and stretch front. So it was actually right. quite long rig. Definitely need like an, at least another like five to 10, 10 millimeters minimum to get up over that. So I'll bring an extra L out here and I will do it. I will show you, dude. So we're coming up. We have one more little obstacle here. Uh, because of where we went, dude, we got sand on the tires and it's going to kill us. We won't be able to make it, but it's going to be a valiant effort and it's going to look freaking rad coming across here. That little maneuver is pretty savage. But this guy right here, I love this climb. I found this climb, I think, with that same CR18P first time. It was in the Yater form, if you ever were, if you were around. That was a badass rig super duper belly though i want to readdress that guy and not have the belly solo so we had it right here dude oh, it's just the go. sand killing it i know come on craig gonna try one more time or craig gonna go try it and i'm gonna try one more time it was there dude got it, it to be. he made it look way easy it and then really and then his tires yeah, got the no grip. Right here, we should both make, we should both make it. Tires got no grip, dude. So I'm gonna try one more time. I push up here and make it look hella crazy. Uh -oh. Too much. What I'm impressed is with though right here not flipping. Or like like the transition when like oh it was right there, okay. I thought it was different. So I slipped, dude. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at the save. Hell yeah. One more time. Or? Great freaking job. Let's go. So that's it, dude. Freaking rip till you flip.